Hey, 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 Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer here with another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. And we're right outside Reachwind Irie. But we gotta do something there. Why else would we be somewhere? And what happened to that beautiful sky? It's raining all of a sudden. Man. Hello, goat. Oh, doggies. And I heard Lydia's courage spell go bye bye, so. Yes, you never have. Except for that other time. Okay, that worked well enough, even though that was weird. Uh-oh. I don't see them, but I see them. Looter. And, of course... You know, that's annoying. Some tolerable stuff, but eh, it's a successful fight, so we save. in we go let's do this and this is one of those uh, anniversary CC things I've never done this one before so I don't know what to expect well, it would probably help if we had muffle up Don't mess with Mama Lids. She'll kick your ass! Now let's see what this fool had. Some metal. Search, reach. Okay, pick up the leftover loot. A couple of Dwemer levers, various other Dwemer shit. Hasseval's note. Over the course of his life, a man wears many faces and goes by many names. Son, father, fugitive, bandit. I never thought I would include Argonian writer among those titles, but so it goes. When Pel uh, Peladius taught me how to write, I didn't think uh, I'd take it to, uh, to the way I have. Maybe if the gods had given me a pen instead of a sword, I'd have spent my life writing books instead of sacking caravans. Well, too late to whine about it now. As for the name, it came from a conversation I, I had with Pale Eyes one night at the Grey Mare and Coral. I asked him why Argonian names were so literal, and his reply was, Why aren't yours? 
I laughed, realizing I was bested, so I asked him to give me an Argonian name, one that suited someone of my ilk, and so from then on, I was Gathers the Coin. The funny thing about an Argonian name is I wasn't sure if it was meant to define the person I was or the one I aspired to be. I suppose the point is moot now. I'll probably die in this tower without accepting to my name. But at least if I keep writing, people will know our story and know that we once lived. Ring of Minor Conjuration, okay. And The Crimson Dirks, Volume 9. A lot of Dwemer goodies. Okay, I need to stop and pray for a second because Camera Vermidium. Camera Vermidium, yep, is a skill book. Heavy armor, whoop the fucking do, but. Still, all in all. Uh, I'm right behind you. How'd you do that, Lids? How can I serve you, my thing? I am now really, really glad I decided to. Did I just inadvertently give you? Pfft, not my boots. Yeah, there we go. And we are still severely overweight. Oh boy. <laughs> Lead on. Okay, and here's the overlook. Ugh. Well, we got a point of uh, lock picking out of it, I guess. Got to find the sweet spot still. Here we go. Ugh. Oh, so close. Wrong way, of course. There we go. So... All that was for the Dwarven plate set. Still here. How can I serve you, my Thane? And the Golden Saint armor is still better. Fascinating. All right. You lead, I'll oh. follow. Of course. We're just doing this so we don't have to trudge all the way back. You lead, I'll follow. So that was that. Whoopee. All right, back to Mark Arth we go. Okay, time check. It's not time yet. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to smelt all that Dwemer goodness into something a lot more feasible. That net us 20 pounds, really. All 
All right, let's head to Understone Keep and see if we can sell some crap to Moth. Actually, while we're here, there we go. That little down some Still weight. Here. Of course. your command actually we're good there for now I'm gonna head back and smelt some more crap real quick So we got a hundred pounds of crap we can grab. And now sixteen more. And all that's left is that dwarven plate armor. So one last round of smelting. I saw you with the forsworn. Still here. How can I serve you, my thane? You lead on All right, so we got that sorted out. Turns out most of what was in Reach Wind, Reach Wind Irate, God, I could talk today, it was just where we're crap and scrap. What the frickin' do? All right, now to Understone Keep. Sell most of this crap. Not even anything really worth putting up either, so it's really disappointing. Well, what are you gonna do? Doesn't always. <laughs> These things aren't always as uh, gold as they would seem, so to speak. The only thing worth a damn was that skill book, and even still, whoopee. Yeah, at least we can put it in our library. And we're about halfway to another level. Which will go into our Alteration Adept Mastery. So we can make the next set of spells cheaper. So we can actually fucking afford them. Come on, Lazy Bones! It's 8 o'clock. What the hell are y'all doing to sleep? There you go. Okay, that's Tacitus over... No, that's Moth. That's actually... No, that was Tacitus. I was right the first time. There's Gorza. There's Moth. May your next looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. All right, there's the weapons and. And that's as good as it gets for the armor. All right. Give me a little bit before those two get there. Not even guaranteed that they'll actually have anything. But Lizbeth will have some money, so we'll sell stuff to her. Right. 
my Ingvar Stone Singer. He ends up becoming uh, the Silver Blood um, House Carl. Should uh, the Stormcloaks take over here? You don't sell stuff. I can't believe Madanak is on the loose again. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, nothing useless there. And that takes us down a bit, which is good. And we should be ready to go. Oh, we need to head back. We need to head to the house and see if that's dismantleable. Come back whenever you need something. Because that could actually be, end up being more useful for us, because conjuration spells are just by rule more expensive. Uh, man uh, magical wise than illusion. We've already learned it. Okay. So we're going to favorite those. In case, for whatever reason, there's a need to pivot. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, we're going to pivot on those too. Actually, no, no, we're not. You know what? I'm not going to mess with the books for now because, for one, it's just like, eh, whatever. What we do need to do, though, is figure out what we're going to do next. Rabbit is oh okay I know where that is but we're not anywhere near that. All right, I knew that. Spider, this puts us in East March. No, and the fox puts us in Falkreath. So that's no good for any of us. Hendraheim, that puts us... in the extreme edges of Falkreath. Believe it or not, that is the extreme north end of Falkreath. Okay, that's the Pale. That's the main quest. That's another main quest. That's also Falkreath. Hey, you know what? I think it's high time we actually do this one. Oh, yeah. Going to Orphan Rock. And 
And it's nighttime again. It's pretty though. All right. We're headed in the right direction. Of that, I'm no longer worried about. But, since we're going to be dealing with a lot of mages, Never did put up muffle. Terrible of me. And I'm pretty sure Lids's courage is toast. Alright, we're gonna save. After a successful fight. Made it to Orphan Rock, but I can't see shit. That's okay. Astronaut, my astronaut got right in front of me.
Oof. That did not make much of a dent in the in the darkness here. Okay, nothing useful there. That lockpick might have been the most useful thing I got in this entire thing so far. Oh well. Again. A few septums and some nightshade. There's the dead hag raven. Some feathers, nettle bane, and some arrows. Those will be your arrows, dear. Yeah, somebody has an arcane enchanter that they like to decorate with their with pieces of themselves apparently okay we're done here already so we're gonna go back to white run to the temple of Kinareth. Hey, it's morning. This person is busy. Hmm. What is it? What has happened to the Gilder Green? I have traveled long here to worship beneath its branches. It was taken by a lightning strike. Wish I had time to deal with it, but it's hard enough with all these wounded from the war. Please, don't just let it stay like this. It's disgraceful. I really don't have time to deal with you right now. Please just let me get back to my work. But this is supposed to be your work. So, have you gotten Nettlebane back? Oh, I... Well, I honestly didn't expect you to come back. Of course, I'm glad you did. Now, I don't really want to touch that thing, though. Do you think you could handle the next steps? Elder Gleam Sanctuary Grove is to the east of here. You can use Nettlebane to retrieve some of its sap. Was I correct in hearing that you were traveling to the Grove of the Elder Gleam? Ugh. Feeling any better? Was I correct in hearing that you would... I am a traveler, a pilgrim. I follow the voice of Kinnereth wherever it can be heard. I've dreamed of seeing Elder Gleam for years. Might I travel alongside you? I promise not to get in the way. I understand. Some journeys must be taken alone. I'll be here if you change your mind. And that's fine. When we're actually ready to do it, we'll go get him. We're just not ready to actually do it yet. So, let's get out of here. And the Elder Gleam Sanctuary is in East March, which does us absolutely no good. 
that's not the way we're going. Lost Life Hideout is in East March. Kynes Grove is also in East March. And the legate in question is in Solitude. So we're not really ready for that one. Trader's Post is in East March. Crow's Tooth Camp, I think, is in... That's the Reach. Okay. Or not the Reach, that's the Rift. I knew that. Alright, so we're back to the miscellaneous quests already. Okay. Red Eagle Sword, I think we can do that. So for us, the best place to go... Hmm. I'd say Kolskegger Mine, but it doesn't look cleared anymore, so we'll go to Blind Cliff Cave. doing here, pup? My god, you're adorable. Seriously, what are you doing here? Okay. We're out and about. We need to spell up. Direct path scene. Oh, I love those. You know what? We're going to cross. If nothing else, this gets us to a noisy plant because I can see its glow. And apparently, an iron vein. All right. Slaughterfish egg paw, uh, pile, nice. Noisy plant. Is there a shrine up there? It's a uh, divine shrine. It's not a... Okay, we're going the wrong way. This way. <laughs> no, we need to hug the coast. If I remember how to get there right. There should be a mug crab or two around here somewhere. 
And another noisy plant. That did summon something, didn't it? Or not. Alright, let's get that noisy plant. Got the noisy plant. Cross. Time check. Getting late, of course. And what did I tell you about the mud crabs? Well, this little sucker's being vicious. Another one, you see it? Let's see if clairvoyance is working this time. Yes, it is. She was about to fade, so might as well get her queued back up again. By the way, that's Four Skull Lookout over there. If we end up having to go there, then we can hit up that shrine that's near it. Near it. I had too many quest markers up. Red Eagle Redoubt, you know what that means. Forsworn. Alright. Looks like our stone flesh is about to wear off. Smell it up. Well, thanks, Lids. That's not the spell I wanted. so much for them. And we have made it to Red Eagle. Read out. So we're going to poke around the camp here a little bit. Another iron vein. We'll continue to poke around a little bit and apparently crash into a tree. All right. Not much of a camp outside, so let's go inside. Getting pretty close to a level there, it looks like. That's good. And, OK, 
Okay, looks like a whole bunch of things are about to come out, so muffle back. And looks like that courage has already worn off, hasn't it, dear? Never been more ready. Alright, that takes care of a lot of things in one shot. To save it's been a little bit and we did go through some combat be mindful of the tripwire Oh shit, really? Let's have some fun with this one. That was pathetically easy. We're gonna mine some more iron here. And I don't know where... My little Atronach went to. Okay. We're going to take this one here. Be seven septums. All right, looks like Lydia lost her courage. And my shield went down. Of course it did. Bye. For whatever reason, we still have the drop on that pool up there. Didn't do me a lick of good. Where are you? Ah, there he is. Okay, another successful fight. We are going to save. Also need to heal. Oh, another one. Okay, got all the important spells up, so.
That's what I thought. Well, I think you all know what's coming now. Potion of stamina. What was in the chest was better. Okay. Mushrooms are always good, as is the coin purse. Okay, we're done here. And out we go! Can't wait when there are enemies nearby. Wonderful. Okay, it's about midnight. And I'm pretty sure Lydia has lost her courage again. Okay, well, since our two soul sisters have not followed, we're gonna have to start anew. Fight means we save. And, uh, no, we don't go that way. I mean, we can, but one, it's the wrong way, and two, uh, that looks painful. Ebony ingot, nice. And oh, so heartbreakingly close to a level. That's irritating. <laughs> Dead force horn. is still glowing that means her courage is still up
Okay. Okay, only advancing, even though I have no magicka, because that will bring my followers, Lydia and the Shades, closer to the fight. I missed. Couple of beds, nothing less, nothing more. And there go my girls. Again. Thought I heard something. Alright, don't have the time to do a proper summon, so the astronaut comes up. Okay, she's glowing. Good. Oh, Staffa has an okie time, definitely. Oof. We got one in my face, huh? Job lids. I'm right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? Ah, uh, damn. Okay, nothing really heavy, just a lot of it. Looks like my second Atronach survived. Some leather boots.
Okay. I'm gonna have to pray again. Nope. Off. <laughs> A little off center there. Take the arrow. We'll take that dagger. And now we'll pray again. We'll try this right. Jeez. Okay. Oh, man, this is maddening. Can't get the right positioning here. Well, you know what? While we're here, let's load up the alchemy storage. We put it here and pray while looking at the barrel. Oh, no. Oh no, I lost the book. Wait, wait. Okay, let's try this again. Right while looking at the barrel. Ugh. We're gonna get this if it kills me. Okay. <laughs> try that again. You know what? Fine. Let's put it on the bed. We're gonna pray while looking at the lab. There. We got two points of alteration out of it. Well worth the hassle. Okay. Level 25, remainder of one. That means health. And up the alteration. Big, big, big. We just unlocked a whole bunch of add up spells. We can get rid of stone flesh. We ain't gonna need that anymore. Detect life allows us to see things, so to speak. Uh, <laughs> Iron flesh is a stronger version of stone flesh, paralysis rune. A lot of fun. Place a thing on the ground. Someone steps on it. They go poof. They go flying and they freeze. It's nice. Telekinesis is one of the most cheesable spells in the entire game. You hold that down. You teleport across uh, Skyrim. You get yourself a ton of X of skill XP and you can cheese your level. Well, I'm telling you right now, I'm not cheesing shit. This is played like an RPG. That's the way I've always done it. This is not one of those Fevy, shout out to Fevy, you know, insane OP builds where you cheese the crap out of crafting and uh, level cheese. All right, back to it. Transmute allows you to convert iron into gold or into silver or gold. Okay. And water breathing gives you a minute's worth of uh, the ability to breathe underwater. Not so useful as a spell, but as an enchantment, holy crap, it's permanent and always passively on. All right, so that is that. And to show you how expensive iron flesh is now. And we're going to poke around the smithy here a little bit. Okay, there we go. Put up as much junk as possible. We're going to pick this lock and then we're going to call this video here. Ooh, an amulet of Akatosh. Yes. That's the one I want. Magicka regenerates 25% faster. Much better than just an extra 10 points of Magicka. Much, much, much better. I mean, still slight as far as enchantments go, but that is not bad at all. I will gladly take that one. 
All right, we got to make our way up to that tower there. That is our next stop, and we're going to leave it here. For now. It's been a while since I've done a hard save. It's due. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest and greatest videos as they come in and to help this channel grow. This has been Big Dave the Middle Age Gamer. This is Skyrim Anniversary Edition. I'll see you all next time.